All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a legend in our studio this afternoon. When you're talking about gospel music, this man's name cannot be omitted. He's a premier gospel music DJ in Nigeria with over three decades experience. Yeah. The multiple award winner applies his trade covering major Christian parties and events in Nigeria and abroad, mentors youth, promotes gospel artists and their music, and is a gifted speaker and MC. He is CEO Ace ACE Incorporated, Gospelella International, owners of Gospelella FM, the, prim the premium online family radio station and co-host of Gospel Zone on Beat 99.9 FM. He is here with us in the studio to tell us more about himself, his journey, his story and what to expect. Please make very welcome DJ Gospelella. You're welcome, DJ Gosparella. Ashiwaju, DJ Gosparella. <laughs> yes, it's the real Ashiwaju. You got that. Yeah. Where do you get it from? Ah, we have our sauce. Uh -huh. We have our sauce. Nice to have you. Thank you very much. Great yeah? to have you, Ashiwaju. I think pleasure. we'll just stick with that because indeed yeah. you are Ashiwaju when it comes so, to yeah, gospel actually, DJ yeah, in Nigeria. Somebody actually saw that uh, uh, some years ago. He saw what I was doing in the gospel music industry and he looked at me for a very long time. You are the Ashiwa Joe of gospel oh. music. And I'm like, hmm. So it stuck. And then when the Jagaban title came up, oh, yes. so I'll say, my name is Ashiwa DJ Gosporella, the Jagaban of Gosporella International. <laughs> <laughs> because right. the, I really love the guy. Anyways, Jagaban. Well, yeah. So, I mean, not everybody has the bragging rights to say, you know, you're a pioneer, you started something. Take us back memory lane to the beginning. And uh, what inspired you to DJ? And uh, who would have thought that? Because you think gospel music is very holy and, you know. Yes. There was a time when we, didn't, we wouldn't even think of a DJ and music exactly. and gospel music. music yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, where I started from, you see, I'm the son of a king. I come from a royal household. So and, uh, uh, music for me was on a daily basis. We had a, a, a palace grout that would come every morning to come and... Uh, praise my father and all that. We woke up to singing and all mm -hmm. that. And then my elitist eldest brother uh, had this changer, you know, that we used to play uh, when the families were, were celebrating and all yeah. that, you know. And yours sincerely was uh, open to that, you know. I, I used to play the, you know, I used to DJ right from there. I was about eight years old, I think. You were attracted to that. Yeah, I was attracted. Yeah. I was actually, because my elder brother who was playing it. Now, let me tell you something. Back in the day, you were not allowed to touch that changer. Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, I can imagine. You were not allowed to touch. Mm. It was anathema for you to touch that changer. Yeah? So my uh, eldest cousin who was in charge of it, he was a DJ of the family. You know, I would sit beside him each time he was playing and all that. So uh, this day, he... You know, he shifted. Maybe he wanted to go and do something. And then the last of the uh, vinyl dropped. It's this type of stuff that you load stuff on yeah. top, and it drops after one after the other. Yeah. Some of these guys don't understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you school. <laughs> you know. So, 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 you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, and uh, the last one played. Because I've been watching him, I knew what to do. So he came back when, because he himself knew when, Stuff was going to expire. So but before he came, I've already done what I needed to do. I got a slap, but <laughs> I also good. got a reward, yeah? Because <laughs> from then on, he said, well, since now you know how to do it, I'll be dancing while you are playing. <laughs> <laughs> and so my DJ start from way back at home, but I took it up professionally in 1985. Wow. Yeah, Intalary Promotions uh, used to run clubs all over the nation. Uh, and then I went to dance as, as a John Player Good Live mm. Championship dancer. You don't understand that uh, either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back in the day. And uh, yes, we we had this uh, uh, dance team. We used to go. Was this in Lagos? Lagos, yes. Mm. We used to do street dancing, break dancing, Good and all days, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Did you, you still got that? your moves. Wow. Still you still got the moves. <laughs> Man, yeah, you can't even break down like that. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> you know, so we used to do that, and then we've gone to Doba Hotel, you know, Doba Nightclub, to do, we have been invited by the nightclub to, you know, do stuff, and then I met them doing an audition. Back in the day, to become a DJ, you have to be auditioned. 
Okay, so we went through the audition. Instead of dancing, I told my guys, dude, this is what exactly I wanted to do. So now God, bring me here. Okay, sorry. I'm on air. Better the area boy, so you understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So so I said, dudes, I jiggle, I mean, you know. <laughs> dudes, you know, I have to do this. So I put him for the audition. I was auditioned and I passed. Wow. And that is how my DJ started. Okay. I, I did that for uh for about uh, 17, 18 years. That was secular. Secular. Doing streets, doing clubs. We were there. We did it all. Yeah? And it was inside of the clubs that I was singled out by God Almighty to come and start something that's today known as Gospel Rara. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, yours is, the story you've just shared is a classic case of preparation meeting opportunity. How did you know? That's what God said to me when it was time. He said to me, and now I became born again along the line, but I was still in the nightclubs doing my thing, yeah? So, but I was not just your everyday DJ right there, yeah. because I wouldn't drink, I wouldn't smoke, I wouldn't womanize. These are things that, you know, DJs are, you know, but unfortunately it's not all DJs that actually do that. Mm. But, well, that is what they are known That's for. That's their reputation. Yeah? Okay, so, uh, when I finished the nightclub sessions, in the morning I had somewhere that I'll go to pray. And then it was one of those sessions that God said to me, I have prepared you long enough for the reason why I created you. I want you to go and do this same thing in my house. Wow. Wow. At that time, there was nothing like gospel music that you could play in clubs and all that. It was praise the Lord, hallelujah, and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And having been exposed to good music from way back, the Michael Jacksons and the rest of this world, what are you going to pray? Mm -hmm. 2000, I was called out. But like uh, the guy who ran, what's his name again? Uh, one of the prophets that was followed by Will. Jonah. And Jonah. Jonah, like Jonah, I ran. Mm -hmm. But it only lasted for three years. And I thank God that after three years, I said yes, because I believe if it was now, God would have called somebody else, and then I would have lost my position. So now. I am not in competition with anyone. You can be better than me as a gospel DJ, but the truth remains, I am the Jagaban. Yes, so I love it. <laughs> and it uh, leads me to my next question. Yeah. How do you deal with the fact that we have younger gospel DJs who have come up, and know. when they see, they're thinking, oh, DJ is not for old school. When they see, they'll think, you want to come and play us every year now, Goli, or what? Mm. You know, how do you, although you look very trendy and youthful, I have to say, yeah, even yeah. more than people who have just started. So how do you then <laughs> remain very <laughs> 53 years. 53 wow. years. Wow. Yeah. I would never. No, guess. you don't look your age at all. Guess. You look really good. <laughs> Thanks. So how do you compete with younger people coming up? And good. I don't compete. I do not compete. Kings don't compete for cheap dancing titles. Mm. Yeah. So I don't compete. Anybody that is in gospel music has to realize that there is somebody who started this thing. Yeah. And whether you koto or you don't koto, the fact remains that. Even when I die, I'm still the Jagaban yes. of gospel mm -hmm. music DJ in Nigeria. And so, even before then, I have been recognized mm -hmm. outside of this sphere, in and out of Nigeria. I've been given awards mm -hmm. to confirm who I am and all that. And when it actually comes to the DJ thing, they say that a child might know how to wrestle, but the tricks of wrestling is the exclusive yeah. preserve of the, of the matured. Mm. You want to try me? <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> you've, you've happened to, uh, not so many people, I mean, you're a pioneer, and you said when you started yeah. the struggle of, you know, the wine, so it was just the church and the traditional folk music mm. that they play in church. And, to, I mean, looking to present-day Nigeria, there's a whole array of fantastic gospel yeah. artists. Yeah. How does that make you feel? And what's your assessment of the gospel music See, industry when we started, in Nigeria? When we started, uh, we, we had to do it. We struggled. I have pictures. Maybe when I come here again, I'll give pictures and all that. And then some of my oldest mixes of how we, the guy that came here now, 
So he, he, he told you about the difference between a producer DJ and mm -hmm. just a DJ. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, we have to produce to be able to make people dance. Mm -hmm. wow. And then what we did was to start telling uh, anybody that was anybody in gospel music at the time to please, guys, go into the studio. I know why you are not playing <laughs> what you are not supposed to play. But go into the studios. I'm here now. I will play your music. And then God took us to radio. Um, pam! Oh, it was radio that did the trick. So when we got into radio, lots of people saw that, you know, uh, gospel music had been played on radio differently from the way it was being played back in the day. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people bought into it, they beat into it. And then today you have all sorts of, all genres of gospel music. Yes. So what do I tell uh, uh, Christians who still uh, uh, don't know? Uh, I said, renew your mind. Yeah, because what God said to me was, go and revolutionize this thing, mm. this thing being gospel music, so that my children can play it in their houses, can play it in their cars, and can play it in their parties. Lovely. We have been successful in ensuring that you have all juries of gospel music. And I am so proud to say that the trend that we started, a lot of young people are in it now. Mm. So over the nations, we have over 50 gospel music DJs, and I know almost all of them. Who Those would are. you say is the gospel DJ to watch? Okay, charity begins at home, DJ Gosporella. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Lovely, that's like great. That. And we <laughs> celebrate you, and thank you very much for taking time out uh, to come see us. My I didn't know that you could look this good living. Are you a resident of Lagos? Yes, I am. And you look this good at 53. Wow. Well, you, you know. <laughs> What's so, the secret, please? Okay, Let's they take ask notes. me that all the time. And I tell them, uh, you have to have peace. You have to be at peace with yourself, yeah? If you want to go old gracefully, you must not hey, pursue there's traffic, there's generator, yes, there's you, you must not government pursue. stress. Peace is inside, it's from within. You must not pursue. Yeah? Uh, my team will say to you that, him, nothing shakes him. You, you give off that vibe, actually. Nothing shakes me. I don't care. Maybe there is a shaking here and everybody is running helter skelter. I'm just looking. And they say, boss, what's the secret? Because I know that my keeper is the owner of the earth. And he has given his angels charge over Ooh, me. Preach, they preach, me preach, all preach. my ways. <laughs> yeah? I say, it's, 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 they, be, they bear me in their hands. See, the, the, the simplest accident that anybody can have is to strike your feet against a stone. Mm. Mm. And he says, I've given angels charge over you, that they bear you in their hands so you will not strike your feet against a stone, which means God does not even want you to have the simplest of accidents. So why are you worried? The answers for nothing. The, the, the biggest problem Wonderful. people have is they are fighting for things they want. Mm. But your needs are already met. They are all met. They are under, you know, God Think has met it. all you your... You can sleep on two beds. Wonderful. Yeah? Thank you. You can drive two cars. So much. I mean, you've Thank dropped... you very much. Thank you. I <laughs> wish we had time to go. Here. Thank you. It's been an absolute yeah. pleasure having you Thank on the you. show. How it can has. people follow you on social uh, media? DJ Go at DJ Gosporella. Easy, DJ Very Gosporella. Easy, easy peasy. Gosporella. Thank you so much. I would love to listen, obviously, to your uh, mixtape. No problem. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.